I identify as a queer woman, more specifically lesbian. Black male educator. A black woman of faith. Queer, Latinx uh, woman, and I live most of my life in the States as an undocumented person, so that's also a part of my identity. I am a beautiful, educated African-American woman. My experiences as a black male educator at ISU has been difficult because I can say that my white counterparts have resources of people that they typically can just reach out to at many times, but sometimes I'm put at that disadvantage of not seeing many black male educators in the education department. And you and other people might think that it's easy, but it's not. You don't really know what people think about you in terms of professors and classmates especially being in you know the Bloomington Normal area there's a lot of conservative people so you you really don't know. Um, sometimes I don't feel like I have a space to come to. Well before I was introduced to the AOs in a class that was oftentimes uh, mostly white students it, you know if I wasn't naming race as a as a factor that might affect, you know, I was a psychology student. So like, how, how does race play into that? If it wasn't me asking that question, it didn't feel like that was necessarily accounted for. One of the biggest obstacles was maybe finding other students who could share the same experiences maybe that I, that I was experiencing. Being the only black male, it's like, whoa, how can I survive in here? It's something I have done, but it is difficult. Underrepresented students and marginalized students do have unique experiences at predominantly white institutions. So our, our hope is that our students um, of color and our marginalized students will um, really fight to take ownership of their own education and that they would have a support system around them to help them do that. For me, a huge help was uh, starting an internship um, which connected me to other undocumented folks in, in the community and other Latino folks that I had not um, crossed paths with. I uh, was invited actually to the Leadership and Service Office to do to participate in the Civil Rights Movement trip and that kind of shaped my entire experience for the rest of my college career. We uh, like to create an environment where students have access to like-minded peers, they have access to faculty who take interest in them and will advocate for them, as well as staff members who are willing to look at um, some of our policies and make sure that they aren't barriers um, more so than their benefits for, to, for, our, for our students. We are resilient, we are fearless, we can overcome so many obstacles. I've overcome a lot of things in my experience and graduating from college is going to be probably the greatest one so far. Um, it means a lot to my family and it means a lot to me it's just knowing that I've accomplished something that I'm doing kind of for my family and for myself. Uh, the cultural graduation celebrations at ISU are really a rite of passage. These celebrations are about acknowledging our students as and their person, their identity, acknowledging their faith. I hope to let African American women know that like you don't have to be somebody else. You could just be yourself and get your education here. I want to have my story to serve as a testimony for students to be whatever they want to be, to choose to make a path for themselves. An overall like inclusive community, a truly inclusive community would, would be what I would hope to leave behind. I am black and determined at state. I am queer at state. I am Latina at state. I am diversity at state.